Hi friends, today we're going to read The Book Snail. The Book Snail is written by Jin Bo and illustrated by Wang Zeming. Piano lessons with Mrs. Lee, painting lessons with Mr. Wu, calligraphy lessons with Mr. Sum. I love learning, but I want to travel and go on big adventures. Every time I ask Dad about taking a trip, he tells me to prepare for my lessons instead. I asked Mom if I could go on an adventure, and what did she say? It's time for bed. I was so mad. No one listens to me around here. That night, I noticed a book I'd never seen before. It wasn't a school book, or a book for piano, or painting, or calligraphy. A snail was on the cover. I opened the book and read from one of its pages. Snail has more than 14,000 teeth on their tongues. Teeth on the tongue? I wondered out loud. Just then I heard a voice outside my window. It's true, it's also true that snails like to read, the voice said. I opened my window and saw a tiny snail crawling along my windowsill, a snail that had just talked to me. I heard you talking about big adventures, said the snail. I go on big adventures every time I read a book. This snail could talk and read? I've heard of a bookworm before, but never a book snail, I told her. I even have my very own library right here in my shell. Would you like to see it, she asked. Now this was the kind of big adventure I'd been waiting for. Of course, but I can't fit in your shell, I told her. Do you know the best thing about reading books, the book snail asked. Your imagination can make something happen that seemed impossible. Use your imagination and see what happens. So I closed my eyes and whispered to myself, shrink, shrink, shrink. When I opened my eyes again, I was tiny. The book snail stood in front of me with a smile on her face. Then the book snail slid out of her shell. Welcome to my home, she said. Please go right in. I walked inside and could hardly believe my eyes. Colorful artwork covered the walls. Rows of bookcases were full of books, all kinds of books. This was the best big adventure ever. I pulled a book off the shelf and sat down to read. I finished it and read another and then another. I knew I should get home, but I was afraid I'd never have another adventure like this. Then I heard the book snail's voice again. When you read books, you can have a big adventure anytime you want. The book snail was right. I imagined myself big and grew back to my normal size. Then I started reading books all the time. And not just the books for my lessons. I read books about all kinds of big adventures. And in my imagination, a tiny snail went with me on each one. I don't mind all of my lessons so much anymore. I know that after piano and painting and calligraphy, I can go on any adventure I want. I've even thought about making up my own big adventures by writing my own books. Maybe I'll start by telling a story about a book snail. <laughs> that was a really good story, wasn't it? Do you ever imagine you're really tiny? Yeah, that would be a great adventure, wouldn't it? All right, have a good day, friends. Bye-bye.